Hi, I'm Bradley Gunraver and welcome to my house. Uh, the thing I like about living here is that, you know, I'm by myself, there is no one to share it with. What I say is like on the weekend I like to live the busy life and then in the week I can run back off and hide away, be chilled for the week. So I've got my Wi-Fi as BGRHQ, so it kind of says, you know, if you're connected to this Wi-Fi, you are at the Bradley and Raver HQ. At Ultra Music Festival 2018, um, some, some guys actually from Miami or from America, they actually made my face. Yeah, that was, that was quite a weird, crazy thing to sort of have your own face in your hands. I've got my light box the logo on it. I just found this in the supermarket so I bought it and I put it up because it's quite funny. It's the emoji that everyone likes. My most used ones are these three, so the music one, the guy dancing in the hearts, that is the love life and rave combination. When I'm not raving and I'm just chilling, I'm here in my bed, calm as fuck. Um, but there's one important thing which I have to decide every time I get out. Do I need a passport or not? So it's always next to me because I don't know whether I'm going to the airport or not. So if I am, I can just pick it up and I'm gone. But if not, I leave it there. Yeah, and this is where I go to sleep and this is where I wake up most of the time. Yeah, we're about to go out now so we need to uh, pack all the essentials. So two PGR t-shirts and then You've got the leggings, the BGR leggings, and then get some rave socks, which are just black socks, but you just call them rave socks. <laughs> Eat your goggles, um, and then the headband, need that, and of course the hydration belt. So you got two bottles with the phone holder. So my first raving experience was actually in Bristol. It was on the New Year's Eve of 2013 slash 14. Um, and it was about four in the morning and um, the train home wasn't until like seven in the morning. So I had quite a, quite a lot of time to kill. Um, but instead of going back to the train station and waiting, I just decided, you know what, let's, uh, let's walk around and get to know the city again, just in case I come back here again. So I was, yeah, I was just, being a bit of a tourist and then I saw a security guard standing outside this door. How long you went for? And he said to a nine, so went straight in and then I was like, wow, this is absolutely crazy. And I didn't really know what it was at the time. I wasn't really dancing either. I was a bit sort of very static standing there the whole time, but inside I was loving it. Um, yeah, and then I went back and again and then it just went into it every weekend to know it. Yeah, so I'm just getting some sushi for pre-rave main course. And we want some water as well because, well, you want to be hydrated. Um, let's, get, let's get a Snickers. Okay, so we got some sushi, two Snickers and a bit of water. Pretty simple. I think raving has a positive impact on everyone's mental health across the board. And you know, a lot of people who do suffer from multiple different mental health issues, they all go raving as well. Clearly, like it is a place where people feel that they can go and escape to. Yeah, I, I enjoy the celebrity. Um, aspect of it. Uh, but what you got to remember is I, I did make the Bradley Gun Raver thing, I've made it into what it is through the social media, so to have someone come up to you and ask for a picture is sort of them telling you I really like what you're doing. I've been raving at Motion ever since I started raving really, it's been one of those venues that has been a place where I've gone to for a good few years now and you know before I was Bradley Gun Raver I was going there. So we've arrived at Motion, 
We're gonna go in, get ready, get hydrated, and then we're gonna start raving. And after I've created the Bendigo Mover thing, of course, the social media side of things has become a massive part of what I do now. Um, and although I still, I still go raving because I love it, there, there is the social media part as well now, which, which you know, you are, you are always thinking about. From my point of view, I don't like it completely busy. I don't want the room to be completely packed because at the end of the day I'm there to dance. What makes a good dance for is that there is actually space to allow you to dance. I mean, when he walks into a room, I think people gravitate towards him. And I think someone like Bradley, who really just comes in and doesn't care uh, about what anyone thinks and just has a happy-go-lucky kind of way about him, makes people happy, essentially. You know, I still go to loads and loads of events, but I've noticed that I want to go dancing in more weird locations now. You know, I don't just want to be dancing on the on the same dance floor every week. I want to be dancing at the top of Mount Everest. I want to go to crazy locations and just, you know, dance somewhere I haven't danced before. Sort of progressed into this sort of adventure now. So let's see where see where you go next.